Pretty cool, I'm selling. A spring, different story, that's this fish. Got one, guys. Alrighty. Let's hear that drag sing without losing the fish. All right, this one's running pretty good. It's probably a really nice crappie. Yeah, it's a real nice crappie. All right. All righty, y'all. All right, y'all, we got another special today. If you notice this box, that can only mean one thing. But there's a little bit of a surprise because this is not a bass fishing reel. Intentionally. This is not my plan for this. This is an ultralight reel. This is the new spinning reel from Cast King. Now I used to be against Cast King, being a diehard man that would just stick with like Shimano, Daiwa, Abu Garcia. When Cast King rolled up on the block, I was like, I want this knockoff reel, this Shishamo or something like that. I gave it a couple years, then you start hearing good things about them. And these are from guys that are old school, man old school and they're not they're not being plugged they're not being sponsored none of my stuff is sponsored or endorsed so i was like you know what we're gonna give this a shot the bfs reel the bfs brother to the spinning reel is constantly sold out big huge demand but nothing but good things to say so we're gonna actually get to opening this stuff up i've ordered so many things from tackle warehouse Just the, okay. all right all right, that's kind of cool. So the accents, there you go. Cast King, category SPN. This is a 1,000 size reel for the Kestrel. 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 I'm terrible at pronunciating things, man. I'm just letting y'all know. How I pronounce stuff is going to be off. Especially when I was saltwater fishing, I could not pronounce anything. So don't, don't uh, get me on that, okay? I always pass my English test, so I just can't pronounce stuff. Do this for y'all. Y'all ready? There you go. There it is. So the big deal about this is I see this label on the side. I believe I don't want to go off the top of my head and be off by like an ounce or so. Where's it at? Yes, right here. I was right. 4.6 ounces. It's only 4.6 ounces for a thousand size reel. And it was $129. So to keep that in mind, its competition is going to be around six ounces. That's between. I'm just keeping a broad estimate between 15 to 30 percent lighter than its competitors. Nice and smooth. All righty. Just look at this, man. This is fire. Fire. Oh my God. This is a nice reel, man. I always do the. The initial because that's where you're going to realize how smooth the reel is when you do this initial let's get this baby spooled up let's just do this one more time a little nice display for y'all In hand, um, I, I tend to forget about how heavy, or what I should say, how light this reel is, because this is an extremely light ultralight setup, and 4.6 ounces is on the money. It's definitely on the money for how it feels. Alrighty, y'all. Let's whip out a few casts here. Now I'm really just going to be doing the retrieve for the purpose of this review and. Not necessarily trying to catch a fish with this crappy jig that I have on, but I'm just trying to replicate a lot of the retrieves we would do to get a good feel. So off the 
off the top of my head immediately what I notice is when I'm doing some of these twitch reels there is some inertia required to get this going versus when you're comparing like a Banford you know you're hiring reels it's a lot more smooth and effortless to get it going so see that there is some effort there to get it going overall it does feel smooth I wouldn't categorize it as refined I would categorize it as just a workhorse reel just wanted to say so this Cassian Kressel Kestrel however you want to pronounce it I'm terrible with this for the money I mean it's not a bad buy do I recommend it Eh, I'll put the Nasi above this. It gets the job done. It's a good workhorse reel. You know, visually it looks nice. Cast King's doing a good job with their marketing, their production. Um, you would almost think this rod is affiliated with this reel, how it looks, but no, that's completely separate. It's a dial rod. Rating it, I mean, it's not bad. 8 out of 10. It doesn't get 9 out of 10 from me. It definitely doesn't get 10 out of 10. But it's not blowing anything out of the water. Nasi, Shimano Nasi is my current clear cut winner. Um, I have nothing but good things to say. I actually have one of the 1000s. It's a little heavier. It's a little heavier. The um, lightweight of this reel definitely ups its stock. But I am concerned with the longevity and how it'll, it's going to last over time. We don't have any, you know, we don't have any precedent for this reel. Like this, the Nazis, the Saharas, all those with the Shimano reels definitely have a precedent and a standard per se. The Daiwas as well, I just have a little bit more experience with the ultralight Shimanos. I've used the ultralight Shimanos for over 20 years. They're, they're the gateway to my ultralight fishing and I just feel like this reel this reel is not up to the Nasi slash Ultegra. Ultegra is just bumping it up an extra 20 bucks. If you wanted between this and the Ultegra, I'd get the Ultegra. Alright y'all, got one here, one last fish to close the day. Alrighty, got one last one to close the day here, that's a decent one. They're eating those things so lethargically, not even able to feel them. Yep. That seems to be the order of the day. Caught a bunch of these about this size, nothing crazy. But hey, I take this size over some five inch ones all day. Thanks buddy. Every little way to mispronounce this reel, I've done it. It's not a hard reel to mispronounce, but y'all take care. Have a good one. If you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. I got plenty of other stuff coming, but yeah, y'all take care. Have a good one.